Hey, how y'all doing, world? Chaplain VY here once again. Uh, I want to have another discussion, man. <clears throat> that discussion is real simple. I want to know, why are y'all settling? Hmm? Why are y'all settling? We got <clears throat> people who are married, whether it's Western civilization or some form of union, whether it's a ring or covenant under one roof. People declare themselves married, and the thrill is clearly gone but yet y'all still willing to be in the same house with that person what happened to morals what happened to values the point of you guys quote unquote being married or being under one union or being one is for you guys to spend the rest of your life together hopefully to love and cherish each other to raise your children together all that in one bunch but yet <clears throat> You got people in the household with another person and they just two ships passing by. You got people who are just there. And it's sad because it opens the door to cheating. You know, I don't know what understanding that you guys may have, but your children see that. You know, I've known people who've been just together, just married, but <clears throat> they live two separate lives. I mean, this stuff can turn deadly. It can turn abusive. And it, it can turn into a cycle where the kids emulate what they see in the home. For instance, they got shows like Murderous Affairs and, and Snap and all that stuff. Now, you say you marry, y'all get married, y'all have a kid or kids somewhere down the road, you know, the husband or the wife lose interest in each other. Okay, instead of communicating that and going your separate ways, meaning separate or give each other space or whatever, y'all stay in the same household. Or instead of just, you know, trying to get some help to rebuild the relationship, the husband or the wife go out cheating. Or it may go to a stream where one of you guys kill each other. When all you had to do was communicate, hey, you know, we're not where we used to be. We're not how we started out. You know, we may have to take a, a, a step and just separate. But no, you guys are settling. And I don't comprehend why. Is it possibly you're immune to that person? Oh, well, I've been with the person for 10 years. Why not? Like, what is it? Why are you settling? Because... It's, it's a joke that's not even funny anymore. You know what I mean? Because I think that's the worst type of hurt that you can do. We supposed to be together, but yeah, we live together. We, we walking in, I'm coming, you going, you going and coming, but there's no love in the relationship. There's no communication in the relationship. The relationship is completely dead. But I gotta help raise the kids. Like you can't raise the kids outside the house. Like co-parenting is such a hard job to do. But um, I, I just want to know, you know, I want to know if <clears throat> someone don't mind sharing, you know. And for those people who actually is in a profound, fulfilling relationship, you know, tell me what that's like. And the reason why I'm saying tell me what it's like is because I know you're not blind to a point where you don't see your friends or family in a relationship when they should have been and left or they settling when you know you like okay when are you gonna have your form of happiness you know all this plays a part because it comes down to happiness it comes down to reassurance it comes down to what your children are seeing because people think their children are not watching and they clearly watching this is not a game this is not a joke why are you selling you know um <clears throat> i've been there you know i've been in a relationship for over 10 or 12 years and I could, I should have been and left, but you know what? The kids came along, and I'm like, oh, okay, I'm gonna stay because of the kids. Come on, it's only so much we could do because of the kids. So what you're saying is you're willing to put your life on hold because you have children together. You're willing to stay and occupy the same space with someone because you have children together. Or oh, I'm not gonna get a divorce because that's not what we're supposed to do. Or, oh, I'm not going to get a divorce because somebody may see us. But yet, it breeds sneaking around. It breeds cheating. It breeds 
you know, this, that, and the other. It's, it's just, um, why are you settling? Real simple. Um, <clears throat> yeah, just a question. Hopefully you guys can answer that. I, I really I really am intrigued. Maybe someone can give me a different perspective on why you stand when you should have left you know, because my thing is, if you're not, if you're going to stay that long, try to help and repair the relationship. If not, what are you doing there? Why are you occupying that space? It's not that serious. But maybe you guys are in a dilemma that is unknown or unheard of. Or maybe you guys don't know the actual steps to take to kind of separate or depart from the. But if you guys are content with it and immune, which I'm almost positive that that would be the answer. You know, just, just let me know so I can get a better understanding. When I do these videos, it's not to... Um, judge or belittle anyone i i like to know you know it's 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 to have a different uh perspective on where people are in certain situations because this is really serious and i see this a lot however i do see a lot of spousal rape i see a lot of spousal killing uh it, it's not necessarily spousal just you know boyfriend girlfriend you know so uh just wondering why you're settling and uh i hope you guys have a wonderful day chaplain vy signing out I bid you namaste.